So I have to promise myself I won't be coloring my hair for a long, 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 long time because being indecisive, I get bored very easily and I don't want to go through this process again for a long time. <laughs> Welcome back, my loves. This video, as you already know, you read the title. It is Cut, Color, Wash, and Style. I'm going to be showing you the whole process because I am going back to black. I got this color back in... I don't remember. I think I got it back in June, July. Yeah, I got this color back in July, I believe. And we are in October. July, August, September, October. So I usually always end up doing something to my hair around this time. Uh, 2018, I did a mid big chop. 2019, the lady kind of cut way too much and we're in 2021. And two days ago, my sister cut my hair. So it does look, it's still long to me. It's very dirty, it's very oily, it's way down. She did cut it. And I will go ahead and show you guys that video. She did a really good job. She didn't, I actually wanted to go like short, 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 like teeny weeny afro, but she wasn't having it. I love my. back to black and the longer it is it's, it's easy to tangle and it's annoying so i'd rather just keep it a little bit short it's gonna grow back in your hair as well okay so about not shoulder length shoulder length is here it's about right here no 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 i don't participate what are you gonna cut this But now it is time to color. And I'm going in with the Cream of Nature Intense Black Exotic Shine Color with Argan Oil from Morocco. And the color is Intense Black 1.0. Not 1B, it is 1.0. I want black, 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 black. Inside the box, we have the Cream Color Developer. We have the Gel Hair Color, the Intense Conditioning Treatment and the argan oil treatment which is really good so before i start i'm going to plaster myself in petroleum jelly because i do not need a rash i need to clarify oh my god since when does my scalp do that whoa my scalp is in desperate need of a good clean each section i'll break it down into three i hope i have enough i have two boxes here just just in case
the black just hits different for me. So I'm gonna put a plastic cap on my head and sit for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and clarify, condition, then deep condition. I'm going to be using the Adwa Beauty Blue Tansy Clarifying Shampoo. This will be my first time using it. It's for damaged or color treated hair. It is to strengthen and repair. This is a highly recommended shampoo. I've been watching reviews on it. And of course it is black owned, it's natural shampoo. And then I'm gonna be using their Blue Tansy Reparative Conditioner. And then I will be using their Blue Tansy Reparative Hair Mask. So this line is basically to strengthen and repair, but I heard it's very moisturizing at the same time. So it will not leave my hair stripped. It will just put a perfect moisture and protein balance. When it's time to deep condition, I will be sitting under my hooded steamer for an extra boost of moisture. Guess who's back to black. My hair is still a little bit, ah, okay. The hair color, so cute. When I did cut my hair, I always prefer to cut it straight, especially if I'm gonna cut off a lot. I don't really like to cut my hair while it's curly because all my curls hang different. The curls hang different in the front versus the back. The front is not as curly as the back. Like, look at the back. You see that? So, the back is going to be pretty much, once it's dry, I think it'll probably go up to my ear. But I finished deep conditioning my hair under the hooded steamer. So, I'm just waiting for my hair just to dry up a little bit. So, then I'm going to rinse out my hair in cold water. And then I'm going to style using the other line. But I just wanted to add like an extra bit amount because this stuff is worth the money. So, hair is freshly rinsed from the deep conditioner. I literally had the deep conditioner on my head for over an hour. Definitely over an hour. And my curls are just, yeah. They look good. They look good. Don't mind me. I have the hair coloring gloves that come in the box because I cannot find my regular good gloves and they already ripped. I'm about to do a wash and go and I'm going to be using the Adwa Beauty Biomint Leave-In Conditioning Styler and my hair is pretty much very wet. I'm going to put a lot. Mmm. Oh, what does it smell like? Hold on, it smells like like cookies and sugar. I don't know. It smells like bubble gum and peppermint at the same time. If that makes sense. Ooh wee. I'm going to be doing a side part. Probably a deep side part. I'm trying to get rid, I'm trying to, you know, minimize myself from doing the metal part a lot and going with the side part. Okay. So I'm going to be dampening my hair with my hibiscus hair juice. I did do a rinse out, a hair tea rinse using it. But I'm also going to be using it to keep my hair wet as I'm styling. Ah, it smells very good.
going to make sure everything is... Ooh, curls are clumping up. I like this leave-in conditioner. May have to buy. I'm definitely going to be getting the full-size version to the starter kit. But look at that. Just with the leave-in. And my hair juice. To make sure the back is just as defined because it's a little tangler right there. Definitely don't need a comb. That's what I love about shorter hair. I definitely don't need a comb, but I can use a comb. But it's so much easier. Now I'm gonna go in with the Blue Tansy Treatment Serum. I'm gonna use this as a sealant before I do the cream and then the gel. Like I want everything just to, ooh, you don't really smell, it's really light. But I'm gonna make sure this is placed throughout the hair. So I did leave in. Then I apply the serum and I'm doing this way because I am high porosity and I want to do the oil after putting in all that moisture and especially the water. So I think I used about six pumps. I broke it up into half, half on each side. And I want to make sure my crown is laid to and the hair in the back. Now I'm going to be using a little bit of the Biomint Moisturizing Curl Defining Cream. So each side and mostly focusing on the ends too. Now, to hold everything in, to give me more definition, I'm using the Biomet Moisturizing Curl Defining Gel. Just a little bit. And it's not really a gel texture. It's more like, more like a pudding texture. Almost like a custard. So everything is well moisturized. defined the hair feels good and i'm going to air dry of course as always i want to thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and you already know i'll see you for the next video bye guys